So in this video, I, I will be talking about uh, the accounting standard number 20, that is government grant. So uh, when a company uh, receives a government grant or uh, the, the government uh, commits commit that uh, an entity will receive government grant and there is, uh, if there is reasonable assurance that uh, the grant will be received and uh, the condition that is uh, attached with the grant will be satisfied, then uh, you have to recognize grant in the financial statement. Now, uh, let's see. First of all, you have to check that uh, for what purpose the grant has been given. There might be two situations. The grant related to assets and grant related to income. So if uh, the grant has been released for the purpose of the acquisition of assets, then it's called grant related to asset. And uh, in such case, there are two possible methods. One is the approach that is the deferred income approach and other is the deduction from asset approach. This is how you can classify the grant related to the asset. So if uh, we opt for deferred income approach, then we will treat the grant as deferred income that is liability in balance sheet initially and then as per the satisfaction of the condition, we will release it in profit and loss account as grant income each year. So what would be the implication of the whole accounting process? Let's talk through this particular example. For example, ABC Co received a grant of 200,000 on 1st January 2018 to purchase a plant company purchase plant immediately at a cost of 400,000 useful life of the asset was five years and a straight line method of depreciation is to be used. How this grant is to be recognized in financial statement and what would be the accounting treatment. So this is a grant received for the purpose of acquisition of assets. So this is classified as grant related to asset. So let's assume that uh, I'm using the deferred income approach, then how to record this in financial statement. So if I use the deferred income approach, then first of all, I have to record the, uh, when I receive the grant, that is cash debit 200,000 and deferred income credit as a liability 200,000 on 1st January. Afterwards, we have to recognize the acquisition of asset. So the asset is to be debited by 400,000 and payment credit 400,000. Now, as it year end, as we used the plant for one year, so we can recognize the deferred income over a period of five years as per the life. So we'll reduce this deferred income, deferred income debit and grant income credit in profit and loss account. And how much grant is to be released in profit and loss account? So the grant was 200,000. It was for a period of five years. So per annum amounts that is to be released in profit and loss account is 40,000. Similarly, as at year end, we have to recognize depreciation. We have to record depreciation, depreciation expense debit and allowance for depreciation credit. So this is what the first year accounting entries related to grant. So depreciation is based on useful life. Five, the depreciation is 80,000 and so these are the journal entries related to this particular year now in profit and loss account we show the values that is grant 
the grant income that is released is 40,000, depreciation is 80,000. So an extract of profit and loss account reflects an expense of 80,000 and an income of 40,000. So net, ex net expense is 40,000. And in balance sheet, the statement of financial position extract from the asset side, the value of asset that is recognized is 400,000 and first year depreciation. So the book value of asset is 3,20,000. Now on the liability side, we have to book deferred income and we have to classify the portion of deferred income as non-current liability. One of the portion is non-current liability and other portion is current liability. So whatever is the grant that is to be released in profit and loss account within one year is current liability. So uh, this is uh, a portion of deferred income as current liability and as a portion of deferred income as non-current liability. So as at year end, the grant was 200 at the beginning, released in profit and loss account. So the remaining grant carried forward balance is 160. So this 160 is to be recognized in profit and loss account over four year. So that means 40 per annum. So current liability is 40,000 and uh, 160 minus 40. So within three years, the remaining amount is 1,20,000. So the total liability that is to be recognized in balance sheet is 1,60,000 split it into current portion of 40,000 and non-current portion of 1,20,000.